everyone. This is Nina from VC. And today I'm going to show you how it would look like for your patients when they want to set up a video visit with you via the VC clinic. So first off, you give them your custom URL. They can type this directly into their browsers, or you can even link this URL to your website. So they just go to your website, click on that link, and they will be brought to your VC clinic. Now this part, you can brand with your logo, this section, you know, you can customize it, maybe put your clinic information, and you can also upload your profile here. Now the patients have two options. Um, they can either set up an appointment with you or um, just enter your waiting room, um, walk in your clinic, and wait for you to initiate the call. Um, of course, if you don't want the walk-in option, we can turn that off and, you know, we can just put the scheduling. Right now, I want to show you how it would look like if uh, the patient just walks in the clinic. So first off, they don't need to create an account. They don't need to register and come up with a password. They just uh, they can just proceed as guests. And from there, they can uh, fill up this intake form. So we do have a standard intake form. Uh, again, this can also be customized uh, depending on the information that you want from your patient. Uh, but this is our standard. They type in the reason for the visit. They can upload any file that they want you to review before the session. So it could be maybe a test result, an image, uh, maybe even a document or homework that you gave them that uh, you want them to submit beforehand. And then they give their consent for the telemedicine consultation. So we do have a standard agreement uploaded here, but you can also give us your uh, version or your text or document and we can upload it for you. So patients can just click on this link here and um, the, the agreement can open up and they can read through it. Um, another feature of the VC clinic is the e-prescribe. So if you don't need this, you can turn it off. Um, otherwise, you know, you can add this on. And then uh, the patient chooses uh, the visit type that they want for this particular visit. So these visit options here are set on the provider's end. Um, please watch that video on how you can set up the provider's side. Uh, so you can have as many um, visit options here. Now this is the e-payment uh, piece of the clinic. Patient types in their credit card information. So the system will verify the credit card, uh, the credit card information, but they will only be charged um, after the visit. So um, you as a provider can initiate the charge once the visit is over. Then when the patient hits continue, the VC clinic will start to launch. So if they um, already have the um, VC software on their computers, it will just automatically launch. If not, um, they can. Uh, the system will just prompt them to download the software. Pretty easy, they just need to do it once, and then after that, um, they can you know, uh, do follow-up visits and the VC will automatically launch. Okay, and then there, there you go. So their video screen will launch, and then they will wait for you to initiate the call. So now how about if the patient wants to schedule an appointment with you? Um, well, the patient would need to first off log in for them to be able to um, pick a time slot for the visit. Um, so they can log in with their Google account um, and then they just create uh, their username and password. So once they sign in, they will be brought to their uh, patient's dashboard. So in this dashboard, you know, all their visits can be recorded, uh, meaning all the dates, maybe notes from you as their provider, it will all be um, stored in their dashboard. And then as you can see here, they now have the option to schedule an appointment with you. So now they just type in their reason for the visit. Again, upload any file for you to review and then give their consent for the consultation. Um, they can upload uh, their medical information here. So we have uh, what we call a light EMR, where they can upload um, any allergies, uh, current medication, and uh, basic medical history. 
And again, they choose a visit option. Upload a credit card information. And now they can choose from your calendar for an appointment. So again, these time slots are set on your end as the provider. So again, uh, watch that video uh, so I can show you how you can set up your calendar. So once they choose that uh, time slot and hit confirm, uh, both the provider and the patient will receive an email notification of the appointment and then an email reminder 24 hours before the appointment. So pretty simple.